this pandemic has been so, um, it slowed down a lot of things and had you uh, refocus. Gorgeous. Yeah, yeah, especially in the natural lighting. This year's commemorative Artie Grouse print is a bit different. I didn't really feel like landscapes <laughs> and seagulls or something like that would um, really help during this time. So you've hidden words in your paintings. Yes. Talk to me about that. <laughs> <laughs> it first started because my mom was all up in my diary. So she used her palette of intricate colors to paint about what she was feeling. In each piece is a diary. So as I go through them, the words come. It's not like I pre-plan them. In this year's print, she painted love, seek, and growth, inspired from her own experience. Especially after this pandemic, um, to speak more love, to others and to, especially to yourself. We couldn't have gotten a better artist with Tracy. She is the first black artist to be commissioned for Artie Gras' highest honor. So that's a big deal considering we have almost 300 artists a year that are involved in the, in the festival. So. I feel like I'm adding representation, especially to the Haitian culture. With everything happening in Haiti right now, her hope that her work lifts everyone up. And as you're speaking more love, seek things that are passionate to you, seek things that are um, meaningful and make you happy. And through that, you'll see a lot of things blossoming around you. In Palm Beach Gardens, T.A. Walker, WPTV, News Channel 5.